Hello and welcome to another Inverted Access stream and another YouTube video. Um, tonight we're checking out MOP Operation Cleanup. It's available for the PlayStation 4. Just came out last week. I believe it's still on sale for like $2.25. So pretty cheap pickup, especially for a new release. It's a little endless runner with collectibles. Um, my name's Tyler from Inverted Access and let's go ahead and get started. So I'm on the fourth zone, um, let's see where I am, I'm apparently on mission four of the fourth zone, so let's go ahead and get started right here. So you can see the objectives there, collect all clocks, collect all paper items, collect 15 apples, and collect 28 phones. Those are kind of unusual objectives, most of the objectives usually just say collect all the trash or kill all the enemies, stuff like that, but this one is a little bit more focused on the different types of items. Whoops. And right away I die, so I forget those things break. These uh, breakable platforms are brand new for this fourth world, so I'm not terribly good with them yet. I'm not terribly good at noticing when they pop up. And I just died. So there's lots of enemies in this game. Uh, you, you can see the little battery powered thing on the top left corner, so you have three health bars. Double jump, as you can see, I am double jumping. I'm missing things here, unfortunately. At times the, the little mob character will, or the little trash collector character will, character will turn around. I'm not pushing forward or anything right now. Um, you don't have to push forward in the game, you just have to push X to jump, and to double jump, and to wall jump. Um, in the swimming levels, which I won't go too deep into them, but they were not my favorite, um, you could also push square to do like an attack against the enemies in the swimming level since you can't jump on them. Not a terribly complex game. Um, I, I, as far as I can tell, it's not available on mobile. Um, the entire look of it feels like it's a mobile game. Um, so it, it kind of surprised me that it's not there. Maybe it's still coming, I don't know. Um, the kind of button scheme and all that stuff sort of suggests to me that, you know, it's, it's built for mobile and kind of PlayStation 4 was the, you know, secondary thought. But as of right now, it's only on PlayStation 4. I do like the art style, both of the little character. Not exactly sure what he's supposed to be, but that doesn't mean he's not cute. It's like a little trash receptacle of some kind. And I like the background art style too. Collecting all the trash to go recycle it at the end of the level. Whoops. This fourth world has been quite difficult. I was able to 100% the first two worlds. The swimming world is the third world, and I didn't particularly care for that at all, so I didn't bother to 100% it. 
Um, but now this board board is tough. I think I'm not sure if I will put in the time to 100% this one. There we go. Try and collect as much as I can, even if it doesn't get them all. So you see I got 86 out of 99 trash things. That's not too bad. I also eliminated all the birdlets, which I believe are the turtles. One nice thing about the 100% on this game is that you don't have to... Um, do all five of those in a single run. Right, so since I've done those two, I cannot worry about those two next time, and I can work on some of the other ones. Um, so as long as you uh, just get them all in different runs, you can still work on that, the 100% that way. Hey, Icky, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, this is just a little quick stream. It's really late at night. Um, it's it's 11:15 here, but I mean it's 1:15 on the East Coast. But I wanted to take a chance to make sure to stream this and be able to put a YouTube video up and stuff like that. Yeah, you've been playing a lot of Neverwinter, huh? Crap. Let's start over. So if you die, you start over pretty quickly, but there's not a quick restart button. That's one thing I'd like to see in the game is a quick restart button. Because sometimes you'll make a mistake, but you won't actually die. But you would rather just, whoops, quick restart. See now, so I can still pause and do like that, and it still restarts you pretty quickly, so it's not bad. I shouldn't complain too much, but just a single button quick restart would have been nicer. So good. I mean, I missed a turtle, but that can always be done on a quick run. Shit. I go that whole time. Those little breaking platforms are kind of tough because there's usually a piece of trash on top of them. Meaning you gotta somehow figure out how to collect the trash without falling through. Whoops. Yeah, I heard <clears throat> Paul was saying yesterday that uh, you were too leveled up for them to uh, oops, be able to like do the uh, arena battles or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it was. Have you spent any money on it or are you still just doing the free version for all the free stuff and leveling up for free? That worked. It wasn't intentional, but it worked. When you run into walls, you just bounce backwards, which is really nice. Like I said, he auto walks, so you don't really control things. But when you just walk into walls, he just bounces backwards, which is real nice. Oh well. Cool. <clears throat> cool, Icky. <laughs> Music's kind of loud. Just listen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just listening into it. But I'm pretty sure the only option is to turn the music on or turn the music off. There's not actually settings. So we'll just keep the music on. So I can shut it off entirely. Or I can turn it on, but there's no like uh, adjustment settings. I'm not sure what they want me to do. I guess just do a double jump right away. Yeah. That's what it is. Crap. These levels are tough. This fourth level is tough. 
magnet just grabs everything. Only works for a couple seconds, but that's enough. Whoops. Did not want to do that. To unlock the next level, all you have to do is make it to the end of the previous level, which is never very difficult. So that's kind of nice. Actually, don't want to be walking this way anymore, but whatever. <laughs> kind of ended up starting over because I jumped at the wrong area, so that's not great, but. Gives me a chance to pick up some of the stuff I missed. Yeah, that's not too much at all. It's cool that they've made the game so accessible for free icky. Versus a lot of free to play games which are not nearly as accessible. I thought I could kill a barrel. Maybe I can. Kill the turtles for sure. Whoops. Oh, I would have been perfect too, and I overjumped the last two pieces of trash. Hey, little friend. This is that mop game. Yeah, we were talking about. It's like a like a kind of an endless runner or automated moving platformer. The name is very interesting. Um, cause like you don't play as a mop. I, I'm trying to, I'm, I think mop is an acronym for something, but I haven't noticed what it is. Oops. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty inoffensive little game. Um, you know, it's not doing anything spectacular. Uh, it is gonna, it is gonna get on your nerves if you try to get 100% on everything. It's it, the 100% is not always easy. I, I had a couple levels already that I was cursing their name. Right there, those, those guys are really annoying. These like weird looking tuba playing poison shooting enemies, they're too hard to avoid. I mean, I guess I can start running into them, but they're like one of my least favorite enemies. I guess you just kind of go like this and time it, kind of try and time your jump. He said he was playing a minute ago, I thought. I've heard some issues, there's been some issues with Xbox Live yesterday and today. I saw on Reddit a bunch of people complaining. I mean, that's what people do on Reddit, is complain. Battery refills your power. There's three, up, there's three like, uh, little upgrades. The magnet sucks in all the little trash items near you. The battery refills the power, and then there's a shield that makes it invincible for a minute. Crap, not a big deal though. Oh, weird. So it's definitely not an Xbox Live thing if you can get on Halo, no problem, but can't get on Neverwinter. I'm not sure why I'm going for this trash, because I missed one earlier, so it's not like... Getting 99% doesn't anything for me. Yeah, I think I missed a single one. Ah, oh, I see. See what the 
the magnet. Crap, I can't put it here. Let's see what the magnet does. It just like pulls in all the trash. Over 100 pieces of trash in this level. One of the biggest levels I've played all, and I clearly missed a couple of branching paths because I beat the level with 65 pieces of trash. So it'll yell at me that the level is still contaminated because I didn't complete any of these. Um, but it still unlocks the next level for you. Hey MTA, thanks for stopping by. This won't be a terribly long stream, I just wanted to show off this game for a little bit, get a video ready to go for YouTube, all that fun stuff. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight. I usually don't stream nearly this late, but I was up, I was actually playing another game called Action Hank here for a little bit. Whoops, I want to restart since that was so bad. But yeah, I'll be around for a bit. This is the last level in the fourth world, and then I'll do at least a few levels in the final fifth world in the fifth zone and go from there and see where we are. The levels aren't terribly long. I mean, the point of, of really trying to get a major challenge out of this game is to uh, get the 100% and everything, but like I said, some of that can be very challenging. Ugh. This jump is kind of obnoxious. the wall. I don't know how I did this so easily the first time. What I need to do is launch myself. That one probably would have been just fine. What I need to do is launch myself further back and then be able to take a time to get a double jump off. There we go. That. Pieces of trash right in that early part. That level wasn't too bad either. Some of the early levels in this fourth world seem tougher than the later ones. I may go back and try and perfect them all. The trophies are for getting 100% in each world. There are other trophies as well, but they're easier to unlock. You can see zone 3. So zone 1 and zone 2 are 100%. And that's why they're all blue and green and clear. Zone 3 is still a mess because it's the water world and I really didn't care for it. Zone 4 has got at least one portion blued off, so that's a start. And we'll move on to Zone 5, the final zone. Well, I do like the art style, and I do. Um, at times, it tends to blend too much with the background of the game. Like, I don't even know exactly what was shooting at me there. You kind of have to learn that stuff. So some of the stuff you think might be interactive is really just in the background. And then some of the stuff you think is part of the background can actually hurt you. So that can be tough at times. Oh, 
I didn't see that thing right there. I was like, I'm just jumping in the pile of stuff. Okay, that's no way over there. It doesn't seem like that mummy. I think it's a mummy. Yeah, that thing is just launching little spitballs at me. This example of a thing I thought I was gonna walk up until the very last second because it's in the background. contaminated because I didn't get everything. Little menu telling you about the three power-ups. This is a trash. That was kind of cool with the little buttons that shut off the, uh, the spray thing, whatever you want to call it. That guy is just absolutely buried into the background, just, um, back, background design right there. I didn't grab those last two. And I got shot twice without seeing who was firing at me anyway. Yeah, the, the enemies in this world could definitely be highlighted better. Drop me right on it. Yeah, I missed a few that time. That was dumb. It dropped me right on the projectile. Not digging that. Whoops. Tougher, one of the tougher levels I've played.
getting 100% would be a lot tougher. I should, I would be able to probably get through it without too big of a deal, but I like to try and at least go for the 100%, even though if I miss one, I'm not gonna automatically give up. Not sure how I missed that jump last time so bad, but I, I missed it real bad, that's for sure. Okay, grab that, whoops. Get the money. Still not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Like, it, I don't know how to get those two that are in the pink thing. And it seems also kind of weird that it's not turning me around, but we'll just try it like this this time. Passing up a bunch of those, though, clearly. Yeah! Oh, there we go. Interesting. Would like to grab that battery. Might not grab it again, just to be safe. That zipline thing is new in this fifth world. Oh, crap. And it dropped me on it again. You gotta give me a chance, game. I need to jump a little bit later on that, which I messed up again, but I think I do. For some reason, I'm missing two of those items on the back by that little pink pump thing. And I missed the jump again, but at least I won't die here. Alright, well that's, I think, going to be it. This has just kind of been a quick look at MOP, Operation Cleanup. The game's available on PS4. It costs, I think it's on sale for PlayStation Plus members for like $2.25, so it's a pretty cheap game. It's only on PS4 right now. I think I heard that it was going to come to Vita as well, but I'm not sure. Um, anyways, thanks guys for coming out and watching. I appreciate this, and I will catch you all later.